Asking for help. Don't expect help from others until you realize that you can give them something. I remember when I was young, actually, hopefully I'm still young, but I remember when I was younger, I uh, would actually go around in conferences and you know, look up to certain business personalities and I would basically want their help, want their one hour of guidance or direction or their name on my website or whatever. And I realized that business doesn't work that way. Nobody is going to give you anything until you bring something to the table. So when you ask for help, understand the business world is very primitive and it's about what you can do for them. And if you can change the table and you're actually in control and you're giving them something, you can get whatever you want. So the objective here is you want to be able to provide someone of value first so they want to go ahead and with open arms help you with whatever you want to do. Need versus necessity. Understand the difference between need and necessity. The dot-com world was the first example. The subprime mortgage uh, uh, fallout in 2008 is another example. Greed isn't good, and money is finite. Spend every dollar like it is your last. So, and realize the only thing that people will be impressed by is one thing, and that is your performance, and absolutely nothing materialistic. Exterior stereotypes. The number one characteristic any entrepreneur will need is confidence. And frankly, I didn't have that 12 years ago. Thank God there was a screen with a computer where I could type away. But eventually I got over that fear. 12 years ago, if you would have asked me to get up on stage and say this presentation, I'd be running out that door. But over time, over experience, you can go ahead and do that. So anytime I talk to introverts or anytime I talk to people that have that fear of connecting, I always say, just look at me. I was a prime example. Now I love being on stage. Before I would be afraid of this environment. But that's the key thing, because if you can resonate confidence to people in the business world, in, in, in anything, you can get whatever you want. And the other key thing is, is that the fact that don't let the exterior stereotypes get in the way. The thing I learned early on is that, so what if I'm 16? So what if I dropped out of high school? So what uh, I, I have all this exterior stereotype against me? It didn't matter because so long as I could go ahead and keep the conversation about the business, keep the conversation about the performance, keep the conversation on the logistics, the misconception of who I was, how old I was, my education, all faded away. And one of the key, actually funny stories is the fact that when I actually decided to raise money and actually venture out and say, okay, let me start to see if I can get any investors. And I was... 16, and I remember my first presentation I ever did. I thought I did an awesome job. And the first question I had was, so what did you do before this? And I would always say, oh, middle school. But uh, that didn't really connect that well with, uh, with, with that investor group. So I learned the hard way that I got to go ahead and make sure that I impressed them so well in the business world that they would never ask me what I did before. Relationships. So one of the things I realized is that another class that I taught was at Columbia University. And this was a hardcore uh, MBA class that was all about numbers and stuff like that. And I was actually nervous because I sat in about 10 minutes before I got up on stage and I basically said, either you guys are going to love what I have to say or you guys are going to hate it. Because you know what? What you're learning here is just practical numbers, but the real world of business revolves around just one key thing, and that's relationships. So you will be successful in business if you understand and can connect with one word, and that is relationships. With your customers, with your employees, with everything else around that, it comes down to one key thing. The numbers don't change. They're not going to lie. So you, you do need that. You do need to understand them. But the, what, what's going to define your success is going to be the ideology of what you have when it comes to connecting with relationships because they're everything in life and most importantly in the business world. Never burn a bridge as well. There have been many times I've been shut down, insulted, told that I was going to miserably fail, but I bit my tongue and I never burned a bridge. I let time and performance fix everything. 